Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of 2020 Flight Simmers and today we are at Stockholm Arlanda Airport. If you're new to the channel I suggest you go down and hit that subscribe button you really don't want to miss any future videos. Uh, today is going to be an awesome episode. We're going to be doing the before takeoff checklist and then we are going to get this bird in the air. Uh, we're also then going to do the after takeoff procedure and then uh, we're going to end uh, at that point. We're also going to show you some graphs uh, throughout the way of all of our settings for takeoff power, meto power, climb, and cruise. So if you're interested in stuff like that and you want to see flying this DC-6 with no AFE, then stay tuned. All right, everyone, so now we have teleported down into the cockpit of the DC-6. We're already started up, ready to go. Uh, today I am going to be using Track IR. It makes it a little bit easier for me to uh, navigate around, uh, around the runways here. So uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need to know just about how much we weigh. So if we come over here to the EFB and we look down here, the gross vehicle weight is 77,781. We're always going to round up, so let's make that 78,000 pounds. Next thing we need to do is come right up here, and we need to look at our takeoff weight, and we're at uh, 78,000, so we're just going to round that up to 80, and we're going to run right over here to the V2 speed, and that is 101 knots. So that is our best rate of climb speed, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, that's what we're going to use as our rotate speed of 101 knots today. All right, so we're going to pull right out here to the runway, and uh, then we're going to do our before takeoff checklist. So uh, let's get over there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, turn the uh, turn the brake off, and here we go. Now we're not using any ATC today, uh, this is strictly for learning purposes only. So if you're uh, bent on using ATC, don't watch this video. <laughs> Alright, we are getting lined up here on runway 01. And we're going to go ahead and flip on the parking brake now. And then we're going to run through the procedures. We're going to make sure our GPS nav select switch is in the GPS mode. All right, that is done. Uh, next, we're going to make sure that the carb heat is in the cold position. That is done. Uh, next thing, we're going to check our flaps, that they're down in the 20% position. So let's go ahead and do that now. Then we can verify right here on the display uh, that our flaps go down to 20%. All right, or I should say 20 degrees. Next, on the checklist, propeller is high and calibrated. We've already done all of our propeller run-up checks in a previous video. Our boost pump mains, we're going to have them all on low. So let's go ahead and turn these on low right now. Auto feather as required. Reset the auto feather and then put it in the on position. All of our green... All of our green lights will light up right underneath to let us know that the auto feather is activated. All right, next, the transponder that is on, the gust lock is off. All right, so we're going to have the mixtures, the mixtures in full rich and locked. The pitot heat would now be turned on, so our pitot heat is going to be pitot heat's going to be right there and now that's on airfoil heat is on and required as required that is on already uh, next is our landing lights so we're going to go ahead and check our landing lights we've already got those on and extended props and inverters are on and checked uh, flaps are already set so before takeoff flight check is complete all right so uh, now that we know our rotate speed, the next thing we need to know is our our height above the ground. So we need to know what our altimeter is saying for us right now, and that's about 150 feet. So 
Uh, that's going to mean something for us when we're going to be using some takeoff charts here. Oh, and there's one other thing that we're going to do is uh, I'm going to bring these cow flaps uh, down a little bit. And these are going to be set depending on the temperature in your area right now. That's also important to know. Uh, we're about 50 degrees Fahrenheit and our carb inlet air temperature is right around zero degrees. So you're going to need to know that as well. Okay, so now if we go ahead and look at the book, I'm going to go ahead and put up a chart here on the left. Uh, this is going to be our takeoff uh, power chart. And as you'll see on the bottom chart here, uh, being at zero degrees on the air intake temperature, being at sea level, we're going to be at 51.5 in manifold air pressure. And the RPM is going to be 2800, and that's going to be low blower at 197 BMEP. So that'll be right up here, 197, almost 200. Next, after we get in the air and we pull the gear up, we're going to switch to Mito power. Mito power is in between our takeoff and our climb. And Mito power, we're going to put a chart right up here on the left again for our Mito power. And as you'll see on there, being at sea level up to 2,000 feet with a zero degree air inlet temperature, we're at 47.2 on the manifold pressure. Uh, down to 46, depending on the air inlet temperature. We're also then going to decrease the RPM down to 2600, and that's still with low blower at 196 BMEP. So after we get our flaps up in the air, and now this will be after our flaps are up and the gear is up, we're then going to put it into climb, climb power. Climb power we're going to use today is a 1500 horsepower climb rate. And we're also going to put a chart up here on the left. And as you can see, between four, uh, 2,000 and 4,000 with an air inlet temperature between minus 10 and 0, we're anywhere between 39.1 and 39.8. And that's also in low blower and 2,400 RPM and 177 on the BMEP. And that's about as far as we're going to go today. So uh, let's get this thing in the air. and. Um, Hopefully everything goes smoothly. Oh, and by the way, if you have any questions, go ahead and pop them below in the comments section. I'll get right back to you as soon as I can. And if you like the video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button, click subscribe, and tick that little bell. You'll get notified on all of our future videos. So now that that's out of the way, let's get the uh, parking brake off. And let's see if we can get into some trouble now. Everything is set. Temperatures look okay. So we're going to accelerate to 30 on all four engines, still holding the brake. And then we're going to start increasing that. And as soon as we pass 40, we're going to go ahead and release the brake and come down and look. And there actually is a little red line here right around that 51.5 area, but just make sure you're at 51 and a half. And we will hold that until our airspeed comes up to about 101 knots, and we will then pull back and rotate. We are there. We are pulling back slightly and rotating. All right, we're off the ground, positive right, gear up. Now that the gear is up, we are going to bring us back into Mito power, 37 at 2600 RPM. And 2600 RPM. We are now in Mito power, we're in climb, we can bring up one notch of flaps also go ahead and uh, start running through our checklist the auto gyro on right now flip that switch and right down there that gets us in auto gyro mode and we can come down and bring down the nose a bit with that trim wheel we want to have us at about 165 knot rate of climb 
again we're going to bring that down slightly and uh, our climb should be coming up as we come up the uh, power here uh, our intake manifold pressure is going to start decreasing now we can bring up another stage of flap And once we get up near about that 160 range, we're going to bring up our last stage right now. So now that all the flaps are up, we can go ahead and put us into climb power. And uh, as you can see, we're almost at 3,000 feet right now. So if we look on our chart at the 4,000 foot mark, and if we look down at our air intake, it's still about zero. So we should be at about 39.8 at 2,400 RPM. So we'll put us at uh, 39. And bring us down to 2400 RPM. Now we are in climb. Now, while we're in climb, we're gonna go ahead and do our after takeoff procedure checklist. And uh, that is the ADI and auto feather is now going to be turned off. So we're going to turn that off. The ADI is already off. That's up here. Fuel and uh, flows check. Oil coolers. We don't have those. Gear handle is up. Hydraulic bypass is in the up position. So we'll go ahead and turn our hydraulic bypass on that, off now. Landing lights are up and off. And that is it. We have now taken care of our after takeoff checklist. Uh, at this point, we're gonna still monitor our climb. We're gonna keep it about 165 to 170 knots, and we're gonna keep maintaining the manifold pressure at about 38 to 39 PSI, all the way up until our desired altitude. And at that point, we would then go ahead and put it into cruise mode. But we're not gonna do that on this episode. This episode was all about takeoff and uh, climbing. So I hope everybody enjoyed the video today. If anybody has any questions, please put them down below. I hope everybody enjoyed uh, watching uh, the takeoff procedures on the DC-6. So again, if you haven't done so already, go ahead down below and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell. Uh, you'll get notified on all of our future videos. Thanks again for watching 2020 Flight Simmers, and as always, keep the blue side up.